Good morning dear students welcome to Jatin Academy Today in this class we will start important questions from chapter 1 of physics that is force so let's get started Question 1 State the condition when applying a force the body has the translational motion Answer Translational motion is produced when the body is free to move 2 the rotational motion Answer Rotational motion is produced when the body is pivoted at a point. Question 2 Define the moment of force and state its s i unit. Answer The moment of force is equal to the product of the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation. The s i unit of moment of force is newton times meter. is equal to newton meter question 3 state whether the moment of force is a scalar or vector quantity answer the moment of force is a vector quantity question 4 state two factors affecting the turning effect of a force answer the following are the two factors on which moment of the force about a point depends 1 the magnitude of the force applied and Two, the distance of the line of action of the force from the axis of rotation. Question five: When does a body rotate? State one way to change the direction of rotation of a body. Give a suitable example to explain your answer. Answer: The force applied on the body at a suitable point rotates the body about the axis passing through the pivoted point when the body is pivoted at a point. By changing the point of application of force the direction of rotation can be changed Figures given below shows the anticlockwise and clockwise moments produced in a disk pivoted at its center by changing the point of application of force f from a to b Question 6 Write the expression for the moment of force about a given axis Answer The expression for the moment of force is given by Moment of a force about a given axis is equal to force times perpendicular distance of force from the axis of rotation. Question 7 What do you understand by the clockwise and anticlockwise moment of force? When is it taken positive? Answer If the effect on the body is to turn it anticlockwise, a moment of force is called the anticlockwise moment and it is taken as positive. While if the effect on the body is to turn it clockwise a moment of force is called the clockwise moment and it is taken as negative Question 8 State one way to reduce the moment of a given force about a given axis of rotation Answer The moment of force depends on the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation The moment of a given force reduces by decreasing the perpendicular distance from the axis. Question 9. State one way to obtain a greater moment of a force about a given axis of rotation. Answer. Moment of force is equal to the product of force and the perpendicular distance of force from the axis of rotation. By increasing the distance from the axis of rotation where the force would act is one of the ways to increase the moment of a force about a given axis of rotation. Question 10 Why is it easier to open a door by applying the force at the free end of it? Answer Larger the perpendicular distance less force is needed to turn the body. Hence it is easier to open a door by applying the force at the free end of it. Question 11 The stone of hand flour grinder is provided with a handle near its rim Give a reason Answer The stone of hand flour grinder is provided with a handle near its rim because by applying small force at the handle it can be rotated easily about the iron pivot at its center Question 12 It is easier to turn the steering wheel of a large diameter than that of a small diameter Give reason. Answer. To turn the steering wheel of a large diameter needs less force which is at a large distance from the center of the rim. So it is easier to turn the steering wheel of a large diameter than that of a small diameter. Question 
13. A spanner or wrench has a long handle. Why? Answer. The long handle of spanner produces a larger turning moment by which nut can easily be turned with a less force. So the spanner has a long handle. Question 14. A jack screw is provided with a long arm. Explain why? Answer. A long arm of a jack screw which is used to lift a heavy load like a vehicle will help to apply less effort which is required to rotate it to raise or lower the jack. Hence the jack screw has a long arm. Question 15. A, B and C are the three forces each of magnitude 4 enacting in the plane of the paper as shown in figure. The point O lies in the same plane. 1. Which force has the least moment about O? Give a reason. Answer. As we know that. Moment of force is equal to force times perpendicular distance. Since vector C perpendicular distance is least from the point O. So, vector C will have the least moment about O. 2. Which force has the greatest moment about O? Give a reason. Answer. As we know that. Moment of force is equal to force times perpendicular distance. Since vector perpendicular distance is greatest from the point O. So, vector A will have greatest moment about O. 3. Name the forces producing. Clockwise and anticlockwise moments. Answer. Clockwise moments are produced by vectors A and B. Explanation. If the turning effect on the body is clockwise, the moment of force is called clockwise moment and it is negative. B. Anticlockwise moment is produced by vector C. Explanation. If the turning effect on the body is anticlockwise, the moment of force is called anticlockwise moment and it is positive. Question 16. What do you understand by the term couple? State its effect. Give two examples in our daily life where a couple is applied to turn a body. Answer. Two forces not acting along the same line, which are equal and opposite parallel forces, form a couple. A couple is always required to produce the rotation. Examples, turning a key in the hole of a lock and turning the steering wheel of a car. Question 17. Define the moment of a couple. Write its SI unit. Answer. Moment of the couple is equal to the product of both force and the perpendicular distance between the two forces. The SI unit of moment of couple is Newton meter. Question 18. Prove that moment of couple is equal to force x couple arm. Solution. At A and B two forces, each of magnitude F is applied, which are equal and opposite forces. Moment of force F at the end A is equal to F times OA, anticlockwise. Moment of force F at the end B is equal to F times OB, anticlockwise. Total moment of couple is equal to F times OA plus F times OB is equal to F times OA plus OB is equal to F times AB is equal to F times D, anticlockwise is equal to either force times perpendicular distance between the two forces or couple arm. Hence, moment of couple is equal to force times couple arm. Question 19. What do you mean by equilibrium of a body? Answer. When a number of forces acting on a body produce no change in its state of rest or of linear or rotational motion, the body is said to be in equilibrium. Question 20. State the condition when a body is in 1. Static 2. Dynamic equilibrium Give one example each of static and dynamic equilibrium. Answer 1. Static equilibrium is defined as when a body remains in the state of rest under the influence of several forces, the body is said to be in static equilibrium. Example, a book lying on a table is in static equilibrium. 2. Dynamic equilibrium is defined as when a body remains in the same state of motion under the influence of several forces, the body is said to be in dynamic equilibrium. Example, 
a raindrop reaches the Earth's surface with a constant velocity. Question 21. State two conditions for a body, acted upon by several forces to be in equilibrium. Answer. The two conditions for a body to be in equilibrium are 1. The resultant of all the forces acting on a body must be zero. 2. The algebraic sum of moments about the point of rotation of all the forces acting on the body should be zero. Question 22. State the principle of moments. Name one device based on it. Answer. According to the principle of moments, if the algebraic sum of moments about the axis of rotation of all the forces acting on the body is zero, then the body is said to be in equilibrium. A beam balance is a device which works on the principle of moments. Question 23. Define the term center of gravity of a body. Answer. The center of gravity of a body is defined as a point about which the algebraic sum of moments of weights of particles constituting the body is zero and the entire weight of the body is considered to act at this point. Question 24. Can the center of gravity of a body be situated outside its material of the body? Give an example. Answer. Yes. The center of gravity of a body can be situated outside its material of the body. Example, center of gravity of a ring. Question 25. State factor on which the position of the center of gravity of a body depend? Explain your answer with an example. Answer. Center of gravity of a body of given mass position depends on its shape that is on the distribution of mass. For example, Uniform wire's center of gravity is at its midpoint. But if this wire is bent to make a circle, its center of gravity will then be at the center of the circle. Question 26. What is the position of the center of gravity of a 1. Rectangular lamina 2. Cylinder Answer 1. The position of center of gravity of a rectangular lamina is at the point of intersection of its diagonals. Two. The position of center of gravity of a cylinder is at the midpoint on the axis of the cylinder. Question 27. At which point is the center of gravity situated in 1. A triangular lamina and 2. A circular lamina? Answer. 1. A triangular lamina center of gravity is situated at the point of intersection of its medians. 2. A circular lamina center of gravity is situated at the center of the circular lamina. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this content. If you found it valuable, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with others. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel to stay updated on future content. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you.